free audio update on the economy, the news today, and the stock market. I'm Rich Possum for Critical Point. It's July 29th. It's 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay, a few minutes ago, they came out with the second quarter GDP estimate. It came in at 6.5%. Dow Jones had previously forecast 8.4%. Some of the media headlines then called it poor economic data, yet they acknowledged the stock market was railing. Uh, basically, though, I view 6.5% as follow-through from the first quarter, suggesting there's a good chance we see a 6% GDP this year. I, it's very much in line with our macroeconomic outlook and the stock market outlook. I think you've got two types of buyers. One type basically saying, okay, if it's 6.5 versus 8.4 expectations, uh, then this gives room for the Fed to just stick with it and see if we can push that GDP even further. So they buy, okay? However, uh, you can have others who are saying, hey, there's nothing wrong with the 6.5. We should be thankful that we at least got that and they're just going to buy, all right? And there's a few other reasons you can come up for purchasing here in the sense that the Federal Reserve gave us, I think, some, some supporting comments uh, yesterday. Now, of course, there are sellers, and the sellers kind of said, oh, you couldn't make the 8.4, uh, then we should sell it. But they got overrun, okay? Uh, the bulls just came swarming in there. We've already got record highs, uh, from what I understand. I haven't looked at my quote screen. I'm just looking at some headlines. So I think we're on track with the model forecast that the level four trader during the week uh, was due to return to the buy window and is probably going to push this market higher into tomorrow. Uh, my guess is we now have additional purchases by the level three, level two, level one traders and perhaps even long term investors. And that's why we're pushing to record highs. So I really like this price action uh, for you subscribers. You have a full understanding of what we're talking about for these types of trends, these types of buyers that give us a better indication of when the market's going to fluctuate than, say, watching news and doing the fundamental economic analysis and staring at charts, okay? Um, you got to become a subscriber, see how this works, and my guess is you're going to want to stay with it. At any rate, uh, no change to our forecast for August, and I've given subscribers ideas of how this, how the larger fluctuations will occur from August all the way into November, and how this fits within a long-term bull market. And there's no change to that analysis made this week and in recent weeks. And tomorrow we'll do the weekly update. If there's any complications, we may delay it to the uh, weekend. But that's where we'll discuss very short term to very long term, even super long term, and uh, get everybody caught up to date of what this model output is looking at, as well as my personal opinion and confidence in that model output. Anyways, looking really good today. And uh, I just wonder if maybe the selling for the end of the month is over and we're seeing that final wave of buying uh, to support this market right into the end of the month. I think the level three trend is up into next week. And then I won't give away uh, what we're looking at for August and November. you got to be a subscriber. Check us out. And I also have a new site that's still in development that gives away information, education, some long-term free forecasting, gives a bio on myself, gives you an idea of what, what is this. And that's at criticalpointpod.com. Dot com. Okay, and there is a link at that site that will take you to the podcast site where you can get free audio, video, as well as the premium service that's going to give you the signal. So far, very, very pleased with the month of July, uh, how the model worked. Really racked up some great gains in my fund and my personal accounts, friends' accounts, the accounts I manage. Great month. Have a great day. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. I really like the economic data that came out. Uh, the people calling it poor economic data, well, okay, if that's an excuse to buy, then great, I'm with it. Otherwise, I don't think they really wrote about it correctly. It'd be fascinating to see how the media writes about this data at the end of the day. It's fascinating how I find they have a certain opinion early in the day when the data comes out, and then they actually write it differently by the end of the day. Interesting. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.